Bacı gəsələmələ ikü, mənə biz hazır Navoyi vələyətini Nuratı Tağıq Tüzməsizdəki Sentop qışlı oqda biz bu xudud Navoyi şəhirdən 180 km masafıda cöyləşkən Törüsü hükumat topçuluq gəsə olsan, hududlarını turizm salaxiyyətini örgənəyiş və hududlardəki turistik xizmətləri sonunu köpəyətiriş məqsədə də örgənəyiş məqsədə də kiruldik Navoyi də و سنت دوکش لغو دکی گانه موزگه شوند بر واقعه گو اخبار لیکی بیاد ما سایخ وینگرالیک سایخ از اون سایخات نامان گوشی ریابد و از بز شه وینگرالیک سایخ دان سنت دوکش لغو ده توریسم سالخیات و ویرنگ آدم نر حق ده بر خسخه فکر لر نشوره ولامز. Actually right now we want to we want to know about سنت دوک uh, tourism village and uh, what do you think uh, right now I think uh, it's your first visit in now in Uzbekistan yes and uh, how long have you been here uh, I've been here uh, for one and a half weeks most more or less so I arrived on the 26th of March mm -hmm. uh, I've been traveling around in Uzbekistan a bit so after Tashkent I went down to Fergana Valley and I stayed in Kokan, then I visited uh, Namangan and like other smaller towns just to see the, uh, you know, artisans and their uh, handicraft products, which was really amazing. What do you think uh, tourism potential of Uzbekistan? What kind of the types of the tourism uh, should we promote to the, to the world, to the Europe, mm -hmm. and not only uh, cultural and heritage, our, uh, I mean, uh, Ziyara tourism or other historical tourism. I think in Uzbekistan there are a lot of types of the tourism, uh, mm. both natural and uh, eco tourism and uh, other safari tourism also. What do you think about it? I think like uh, it would be really nice to promote like eco tourism because we are here in Rata region mm -hmm. and well, based on my experience, what I've experienced in the last uh, two, three days from the region, it is a really diverse region. It has a lot to offer. You know, you have the Eider Lake, you have like the mountain range of Nurata, you have the villages, you have the steppe, you have like the desert, the semi-desert. So lots of people would like to experience these uh, really untouched pristine nature which mm. you have here mm. and I think it's a unique opportunity oh, thank you and uh, what do you think uh, what should we do uh, for the bring uh, most tourists from Europe actually from Hungary <laughs> well what should we do <laughs> I think maybe there should be like a, you know campaign uh, online maybe on different social media platform mm. just to show the beauty of Uzbekistan uh, and not just the cities but also the countryside because I think it's important to see how you know like ordinary people mm. live mm. Uh, not just like the hustle and bustle of Samarkand or uh, Bukhara which is also very nice mm. but this is just one side of the country so I think like a really strong PR campaign would help mm. uh, okay, a lot thanks. And about uh, gastronomy? Gastronomy, <laughs> um, well, actually I think you should show also that uh, Uzbek uh, gastronomy is not just about plov. Mm -hmm. You have like mm -hmm. really nice uh, uh, right, fresh yeah. produce, you know, really good vegetables, tasty fruits and like also the local cuisine should mm -hmm. be uh, experienced by everybody and yeah try something else, not just plov or lagman. There are much more to that. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, right now I want to know for everybody, uh, you know, Uzbekistan not only uh, uh, not only uh, cultural heritage or historical tourism center, Uzbekistan there are a lot of types of the tourism and uh, we want to uh, please come Uzbekistan and uh, to see you uh, by own eyes. And after that, you can promote for others also. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.